Hey guys, what's up? Starburst. And today I decided to try and make it as far as possible on Nuketown. I was hoping to try for the record, but I knew that it definitely wasn't going to happen in one try. But I ended up making it to 40. I probably would have made it further uh, if I didn't have such stupid downs um, while I was uh, playing. Uh, most of them happened... Actually, two out of the three happened on round 26, and the others happened, or the other uh, one happened on 32, I believe, and then my final down was on round 40, obviously, since that's the highest round that I made it to. But I am going to keep attempting this and hopefully end up eventually beating the record. Um, if I don't, you won't see any videos. If I do, you will definitely see a video. But every single time I make it further and further, I'll probably make a video. Uh, there's a couple things that I want to mention in this video. I've said video like 15 times already, I need to stop doing that. But there's uh, a couple of tips that I want to give you guys. Um, if you noticed when I was placing down claymores, they were like basically instantly exploding. Um, the way that you can get that to happen is not because of placing it close to the zombies. It's There's only a certain number of claymores that you can actually have placed down in zombies now instead of just placing down a bunch of them and then being able to uh, go back and just place them or pick them back up and use those. You can only have about, it's either 12 or 14 placed down at once and then on every single one you place down after that just instantly explodes. Which is really helpful when you're uh, going for high rounds like this because you can just have them stacked over there and then whenever you want to use it you just place it down and it instantly goes off and you don't have to wait for it to go off. Um, but here is my first down around 26, I made the stupid decision of like getting myself trapped. This is just the biggest retard moment I've probably ever had in zombies. And then here is my second down, still on round 26, like just after I went down, because I completely forgot that uh, Juggernaut was on the side that I was already training. So I came over here, bought Quick Revive, bought Double Tap, and I was like, shit, where's Jug? I was like, oh, yeah, it's on the other side. So I tried training him over here and had a massive fail, which you will see in a second, right there. Trying to make it through both of them, and I almost contemplated quitting, that's why you saw me do that. And I was like, nah. And then here is my uh, last quick revive that I ended up dying from on round 32, which was probably the most bullshit death I had the entire thing. Um, because, y you know, I'm not gonna say it, you'll see, but I pick up the insta-kill, the nuke, and the max ammo. And the insta-kill's going on still, so I'm just like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll just be fine and start throwing some Texas on the ground and killing zombies and stuff. So I wait for them to spawn. I start doing my thing of training them up and throwing some Texas. Actually, I don't even train them. I forgot that I didn't do that. But I threw a some Tex, and I had already been smacked through two or three times, I think, and then right here I get smacked once. My screen wasn't even red. I was like, what? This is complete bullshit. But anyway, here's just the strategy that I used. It's basically the same strategy for every map that doesn't have a wonder weapon. You just, uh, that has a, that doesn't have a wonder weapon that has pack punch. You use Mustang and Sally to you shoot them twice with that, then you use the ray gun to kill them. Easy strategy, and uh, it's not exactly difficult. It's really easy. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. And there is a uh, clip of me just playing um, un up until I die, so you guys will see that in a second. Anyway, peace out. It's been Starburst. See you guys in the next video, hopefully, which is past around 40. Bye-bye.